The Black Plague, also known as the Black Death, was a deadly disease that spread across Europe in the 14th century. It's one of the most devastating pandemics in human history. This disease was caused by a bacteria called Yersinia pestis. People caught the Black Plague mainly from fleas that lived on rats. When infected fleas bite humans, they transferred the harmful bacteria into the person's bloodstream. This made many people very sick. The plague had three types – bubonic, septicemic and pneumonic. Each type had its own set of symptoms. The bubonic plague was the most common form. People with this type developed painful swellings called buboes in their lymph nodes. The swellings could appear in the groin, armpit or neck. A person with bubonic plague might also have a high fever, chills and muscle aches. The septicemic plague was more dangerous. It happened when the bacteria entered the bloodstream directly. This form of the disease could cause the skin to turn black due to bleeding under the skin. It was very lethal and could cause death within days. The pneumonic plague was the most contagious and deadly type. It affected the lungs, making it easy for the disease to spread from person to person through coughing. People with pneumonic plague experienced severe respiratory problems and could die quickly if not treated. During the Black Plague, societies were greatly affected. It's estimated that the disease wiped out about 30 to 60 percent of Europe's population. Entire communities were devastated and there were not enough healthy people to bury the dead. This led to mass graves and a breakdown of social structures. The Black Plague also had economic consequences. With many workers gone, there were labor shortages. This meant that wages increased as surviving workers were in high demand. However, there was also a shortage of goods, leading to inflation and economic instability. In terms of medicine, people in the 14th century didn't understand how the disease spread or how to treat it. They had many misconceptions and tried various remedies, but most were ineffective. It wasn't until later centuries that advancements in science helped to understand and control the disease better. The Black Plague spread across several countries in Europe, but it hit some areas harder than others. Italy, France and England were among the hardest hit countries. Italy, with its busy ports and trade routes, so the disease arrived early and spread rapidly. In England, records suggest that over a third of the population perished due to the plague. When it comes to the mental condition of patients, the Black Plague caused immense fear and panic. Imagine waking up with painful swellings, high fever and knowing that many who got sick did not survive. People didn't know how the disease spread, so they were terrified of catching it. Families were torn apart as loved ones fell ill and died. The sight of mass graves and the constant tolling of church bells for the dead added to the trauma. People tried their best to avoid getting sick. Some isolated themselves from others, while others fled infected areas, hoping to find safety elsewhere. This fear and uncertainty took a toll on the mental well-being of everyone, not just those who were sick. The constant presence of death and the breakdown of societal norms led to desperation and even more suffering. Moreover, the psychological impact was not just immediate. For generations, stories and memories of the Black Plague lingered, shaping the culture and beliefs of those who came after. It became a dark chapter in European history, a reminder of the fragility of life and the devastating power of disease. The Black Plague, caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis, was a devastating pandemic in the 14th century. Over time, advancements in medicine and science have provided effective treatments and preventive measures for this once feared disease. Today, the plague is treatable with modern antibiotics, which have dramatically reduced its mortality rate. For patients diagnosed with the plague, early medical intervention is crucial. Doctors typically prescribe antibiotics such as streptomycin, doxycycline or tetracycline. These drugs work by targeting the bacteria responsible for the infection, stopping its growth and spread within the body. When administered promptly, these antibiotics can significantly improve the chances of recovery and reduce the risk of complications. In addition to antibiotics, supportive care is essential for managing symptoms and preventing complications. Patients may receive intravenous fluids, oxygen therapy and other supportive treatments as needed. Monitoring for any signs of severe complications such as septic shock or organ failure is also a critical aspect of care. Prevention remains a key focus in managing the spread of the plague. Public health measures, including surveillance of rodent populations, insecticide treatments and public education campaigns help to reduce the risk of outbreaks. Vaccines against the plague are available for individuals at high risk of exposure, such as laboratory workers and military personnel deployed to endemic areas. Furthermore, understanding the ecology of the disease is essential for prevention and control efforts. Research on the reservoir hosts such as rodents and the vectors such as fleas helps to identify
identify high-risk areas and implement targeted interventions. There are some key facts about Black Plagues. Origins The Black Plague originated in Asia, likely in the region of China or Central Asia. It then spread to Europe along trade routes. Bacterium The disease is caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis. This bacterium is primarily transmitted through the bites of infected fleas, which often live on rodents like rats. Three forms The Black Plague had three primary forms – bubonic, septicemic and pneumonic. Each form had distinct symptoms and modes of transmission. Symptoms Common symptoms of the bubonic plague included painful, swollen lymph nodes, fever, chills and fatigue. The septicemic and pneumonic forms had more severe and rapid symptoms, often leading to death within days. Mortality It's estimated that the Black Plague killed 30 to 60 percent of Europe's population during the mid-14th century. Entire communities were decimated, leading to social and economic upheaval. Spread The rapid spread of the disease was facilitated by trade routes and unsanitary living conditions in medieval cities. Infected fleas could easily travel on goods and animals, allowing the disease to reach distant regions. Impact on society The Black Plague had profound social, economic and cultural impacts. It led to labor shortages, increased wages, inflation and changes in religious and artistic expressions. The trauma of the plague also influenced societal attitudes towards death and suffering. Medical knowledge During the time of the plague, there was limited understanding of how diseases spread or how to treat them. Various remedies and treatments were tried, but most were ineffective. Later outbreaks While the most devastating outbreaks occurred in the 14th century, the Black Plague continued to reappear in Europe and other parts of the world for several centuries. However, with advancements in medicine and public health, its impact became less severe over time. Throughout history, especially during times of widespread panic and uncertainty, various rumors and misconceptions have circulated about the Black Plague. Here are some of the most notable rumors and myths. Poisoned Wells One widespread rumor was that certain groups, such as Jews, were poisoning the wells to spread the disease. This led to persecution and violence against Jewish communities in many parts of Europe. Miasma theory Many believed that the disease was caused by bad air or foul-smelling odors. People thought that avoiding these odors or using fragrances could prevent the spread of the plague. Punishment from God Some believed that the Black Plague was a punishment from God for sinful behavior. This belief led to increased religious fervor, with people engaging in acts of penance and seeking divine intervention. Animal scapegoats There were rumors that certain animals, especially cats and dogs, were spreading the disease. This led to mass killings of these animals, which in turn exacerbated the problem by increasing the rodent population. Immunity Some believed that certain groups of people were immune to the disease. This led to rumors about the supposed immunity of certain ethnic or religious groups further fueling prejudices and discrimination. Conspiracy theories As with any major crisis, there were conspiracy theories suggesting that the plague was intentionally created or spread by certain groups for political or economic gain. End of the world Given the scale of death and devastation, there were fears and rumors suggesting that the Black Plague signaled the end of the world or the onset of an apocalyptic event. In conclusion, the Black Plague was a tragic event that had a profound impact on Europe. It changed the course of history, leading to societal, economic and and medical changes. The memories of the Black Plague serve as a reminder of the devastating power of infectious diseases and the importance of understanding and combating them.